How to make a Shopify logo on Canva. Hello everyone, I'm Jason. The first thing you want to do before going into Canva, you will need to go on Shopify. Once on Shopify and you're on your admin page, what I want you to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select online store. After selecting online store, you'll automatically be redirected to the themes page. And beside the theme that you are using, you are going to tap on Customize. After tapping on Customize, you will be redirected to the Editor page as you can see right here. And the next thing you are going to do is go over to the top left hand corner. And you are going to tap on the Paintbrush icon, which says Theme Settings. Then you are going to tap on Logo. After tapping on Logo, you can tap on Select Image so that you can get an example of how a logo looks on your Shopify store. So let's say for example we were to select this image right here and tap on done. You can see how the logo looks on my Shopify store right here. So now that you know how a logo will look on your Shopify store and where it will be, we can go into Canva to start creating a logo. First, on Canva, I want you to tap on the search bar and you are going to type in logo. Then you are going to tap on enter. After tapping on enter, you will be redirected to this page on which you will see numerous logo templates that you can choose from. And this is one of the main things that a lot of persons like about Canva as it allows basically anyone, even if you don't have any designing skills or anything, to create beautiful logos and other designs. So all you have to do now is scroll down and depending on the type of store that you have, you can say like a logo that you think will match it or a design that you think will match it. And by the way, any one of the logos that you see with a pro or a dollar sign, that means that you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to edit that particular logo. But there are numerous logos that you can edit for completely free, as you can see right there. For this example, I will use this logo right here. So all you have to do is tap on the template that you would like to use. Once you have tapped on the template, you will be redirected to this page right here. Then you are going to tap on customize this template. After selecting customize this template, you'll be redirected to a new page. And this is the canvas and this is the template that we'll be editing. And I want you to pay attention to the left hand menu option. As you can see elements, uploads and text. More than likely we'll be using all three features. So the first thing you're going to do is tap on the canvas and let's say for example you want to change the background color or if you would like to add an image to the background you can do that. First if you would like to change the color alone for the background all you have to do is select the entire canvas then you are going to tap on the color box in the top left hand corner then from here you can select any color that you'd like to use. For example, I'm going to select the light blue color. As you can see right there, the background color has changed. But let's say I didn't want to change the background color. Instead, I wanted to add an image to the background. To do that, all you have to do if you want to add a personal image, you could tap on uploads. And from upload, you'll be able to upload an image from your device. Or you can tap on elements in the top left hand corner. Then from here, you could type in the type of image that you like to add. So let's say, for example, I want to add an image of a woman shopping. All you have to do is type in woman shopping in the search bar right here. Then tap on enter. And Canva will provide you with different images that you can use as you can see right here. All you have to do is scroll down and select one of the images. So you could tap on photos or if you would like to use a graphic, you can do that. Then you can scroll down and see if you find an image that you like. So let's say for example, this one right here. Then all you have to do is drag and place the image as you can see there. So instead of the, of the background being just a plain color, it is now an image. 
and also if you would like to change the text all you have to do is tap on the text box and if you would like to change the text size or the text style you can do that by going up to the top left hand corner right where you see tanmon cherry on my screen you are going to tap right there and from here you will have numerous font styles that you can choose from all you have to do is scroll down and select the particular font style that you would like to use as you can see right there and also if you would like to change the wording all you have to do again is tap on the text box then from here you can type in whatever you want as you can see right here so I've typed in Beauty and the Beast and also if you would like to change the font size you can do that again all you'll have to do is highlight the entire text box then right where you will see 11.5 on my screen you are going to tap right there then from here you can select the font size that you would like to use and you can also change the alignment of the text by tapping on the four dots or the four dashes better yet and from there you can tap on it and you will see the different alignment options and that's it once you are finished creating your logo to save it all you'll have to do is tap on share in the top right hand corner then scroll down and tap on download after tapping on download you are going to tap on download again then once it has been downloaded I want you to go back into Shopify once in Shopify you want to ensure that you are on the editors page then from here you are going to select logo from the left hand menu option after selecting the paintbrush then you are going to tap on change then we are going to tap on select from library then tap on add images after tapping on add images you will go into download or whichever file you have downloaded or better yet saved the image that you had created in canva and you are going to select it then tap on open after you have selected open you are going to tap on done in the bottom right hand corner and you can see that our logo has now been added after the logo has been added if you would like to change the way how it looks or the placement you can do that for example if you would like to increase the size rise right where you see desktop logo width you can simply pull along the slider right there and you can see that the size of the logo is increasing as you can see right there and also if you would like to make other changes you could tap on edit after tapping on edit you will see this option right here preview and edit so let's say for example you want to choose a focal point for the logo all you have to do is tap on the section that you like to be the focal point and drag to adjust focal point as you can see right there after you have done that you are going to tap on save and you can see the changes right there and next I want you to tap on save in the top right hand corner and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching